Okay, I unboxed it, uh, plugged it in. We're on a little bit older firmware. That's why you see right here. But anyway, I'm gonna go log in first and set it up. So I just plugged it in, entered the IP address. You can see that on my camera. 192.168.0.1. You can see that on the bottom of the router. So let's uh, hit next. Found my D link. Yeah, I'm gonna put a name to it. You know, and just follow the setup. Okay, so now you go to the tools, and you go to the firmware. And since I downloaded the firmware from the website, if you're not sure how to do this, uh, please do not attempt it because you can mess up the router if you get the wrong version of firmware and such, even though that could check. Just want to put disclaimer in there. In my case, I put it on a desktop. Let me go to it. So I got the firmware loaded and I hit upload. Some settings were reset, factory reset. So it's best to do it in the beginning when you have it. Yes. Why another reason I'm doing this? Because the 2.10 <coughs> has a problem with uh, the Samsung phones before. So, something to keep in mind. And you're know, uh, gonna wait for about 135 seconds before it reboots. And that's all to the firmware. Then you can log in fine. And then we're showing the new version. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Okay, while well, I was coming up, I just wanna show you that the D-Link, it's best to also read the release notes, what it fixes, and if you have a problem, then you need to upgrade. And usually it's a security patch, which is important. So that's the latest one. Okay, so we're at the newest version, the screen updated, B1 2.11 NA. So we, I've enabled the graphic authentication as well with the password, enter the password, authentication, we log in, well cool, that's all to it. Okay, that's as simple as one, two, three in upgrading the D-Link router. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully the video was helpful and I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, upgrading the router to new firmware fixes a lot of the bugs out there. So if all the people are encountering a lot of bugs, please look into upgrading the firmware and save your configuration before you do it because your configuration will probably not be saved and go back to factory reset. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully the video was helpful. See you next time.